Afternoon cactus people. It's the 6th of February and it's a lovely 13 degrees in the cactus house today. So we're going to have a, a little look at what's going on. And if this was Ziggy's fruit and vegetable channel then I'd be showing you my onions but uh, it's not so we're going to have a look at the cactus instead. <coughs> For once I've got the uh, protections off today just to give everything a bit of an air. Uh, most things are looking good. And let's have a, another look at the roadkill cactus which you may have seen a video of last week. Where it, uh, it lost all its arms in the frost. I didn't realise quite how sensitive it was to frost. Uh, it's still not looking brilliant but the main body hasn't collapsed so I've just given that another dab of sulphur on the bits where the, the pads came off and uh, let's just keep them cross for that one. I have got some cuttings of it so uh, all is not lost but it would be a shame to lose one of this size so keep them cross there. Uh, another thing I noticed was this Apuntia, I think it's Ficus India, Indica uh, the pads uh, developed some nasty brown spots on them and I noticed uh, a few gashes in it which I think is where the eaves needle collapsed on it during the frost it's got some nasty spines on that uh, it may have introduced a fungus into the pad so I think I'm going to get this and uh, the other pad which is not quite so badly infected off and sort of limit the damage on that Strangely enough, uh, the plant it came from is over here. Uh, this one was out with no protection other than being in the greenhouse and it definitely got below zero. And this one's absolutely fine, there's no um, brown staining at all on it, no, no damage. So, uh, not sure there. But uh, over here is the main reason I was doing the video today. Let's have a look at the eaves needle cutting. Nothing's that suffered some frost damage. I'll just switch to the other camera here. Now these ones, as you may remember, were in the polytunnel and they did suffer quite severely from the frost. I initially cut the uh, <coughs> affected bits off, but as you can see, we've lost four of them have uh, started to collapse so these will be going out tomorrow on the compost uh, but these two this one was suffering a little bit at the top so yesterday I cut that bit off it looks like it had a bit of frost damage on it and I've put some more sulphur on the top the rest of the plants looking healthy so that might survive Likewise, but this one doesn't seem to have suffered any damage at all. So we've got two left, which is uh, is good. Uh, one thing I did notice is that uh, the ones in the ground. I'll move the camera over here. Again, this one is outside the tent, well it's half in and half outside, but it definitely froze in here. And that one hasn't suffered any damage at all, so I'm wondering if it was the roots that were damaged by the frost rather than the actual plants being in pots. So something to think about in future. I know during the summer I lost a few rebutias. Uh, when it got very hot and I'm putting that down to the uh, the roots getting too hot in the pots I did actually mount some gravel up around them which uh, seemed to help a few of them but uh, we live and learn so all's not lost with the uh, eaves needle the puncher so I've got plenty of material for cuttings and I've got some more in the uh, tent which are absolutely fine so that's an update for today thank you for watching See you all later.